Hello, my name is Steve Boone, product owner for Urban Code Deploy. SafeEdit allows users to easily apply change management into the editing of their Urban Code Deploy automation processes. This means less chance of accidentally changing a process that could impact deployments and added governance around changes to the deployment automation. Let's take a look. SafeEdit introduces the concept of draft processes to Urban Code Deploy. A user can tell when they are in draft mode by the background splash that reads Draft Process. Today I will show you how to work with drafts, test them, and promote them to full use. Users can now choose to lock a process prior to editing. This ensures that other users know a change to the process is in flight and prevents other users from editing the same process. If the process is locked, you can identify the owner of the lock next to the process name. For this example, we will change an important deployment step in the process to print out safe edit to our deployment logs. Notice that when we click Save Draft, we will create a new draft process version. We can always check the officially promoted process by clicking on the I icon next to the process name. Notice here that when we look at the official version of the process, the step still says Hello World. After making a change to our process, it is best to test our changes before we attempt to promote it to an official version. We can enable environments to use draft processes by editing the environment's configuration. Next, we will click on Enable Draft Processes, and then select the components we want to enable. Environments are clearly identified to be running draft processes with the map icon next to the environment name. Now let's go ahead and execute a deployment into our dev environment and verify that our draft process works as expected. Users will launch a deployment in the same manner that they do today by clicking on the Request Process button, choosing the process they wish to execute, and the version or snapshot to deploy. Next, let's verify that the process ran correctly and use the changes we specified in the draft. When we click on the output log of our important deployment step, we can clearly see the word safe edit printed into the log, just as we expected. Every good change management system should have some sort of review and approval process. SafeEdit allows users to request a promotion of their changes by clicking on the Promote button in the Draft Process Editor. Once clicked, the user can see that the promotion is pending. Similar to other types of approvals in Urban Code Deploy, a user with the correct privileges will get an email telling them to go to the Work Items tab and review the proposed changes and either approve or reject the promotion. Once approved, the changes that were introduced to the draft become part of the official version of the automation process. Our important deployment step now shows our change we introduced in the draft process and the latest official version. Thank you for watching the overview of our SafeEdit functionality. We encourage you to upgrade to the latest version of Urban Code to take advantage of SafeEdit and much more. To learn more about our DevOps strategy, please visit us at urbancode.com.